co-sponsors yet for his American Jobs Act? We are confident, as I uh, said yesterday, that the Senate will take up the American Jobs Act. Uh, it has broad support from Democrats in both houses, Why sweeping support in – you're talking about congressional process, legislative process. The bill will be taken up. You know, how and in, with whose names attached to it, I don't know. I, I refer you to the leadership in the Senate. Uh, the important facts here are what's in the bill, uh, why the things that are in the bill would be so beneficial to the American economy, would help put teachers back to work, would put construction workers on the job, rebuilding highways and bridges and schools. It would uh, give tax cuts to uh, everybody who gets a paycheck and give tax cuts to uh, small businesses, tax incentives additionally to small businesses to hire or increase wages, uh, a specific provision to hire veterans. Now, these are all things that um, outside economists have said would have a demonstrable and positive impact on the economy. And there is no higher priority right now for this president than to um, continue to push Congress to take action on those important measures. Speaker Pelosi has signed up as a co-sponsor for, for the bill. I no. know Senator Durbin has raised doubts about whether a number of Democrats would support it. Kind of, he falls it on the record saying they won't support it. The, a couple of things. Uh, I'm not aware of any Democrat who doesn't support the uh, provisions that go to creating jobs, reducing taxes, and that sort of thing. And, and again, it has broad Democratic support. I could go back and read you all the statements of support in the wake of the President's speech to the Joint Session. It also, as a matter of record for those who consume public opinion data, I think most of you do, uh, it has broad public support across the political spectrum. So all the provisions within it, and in the past the provisions within it have had both uh, Democratic and Republican support. So we are confident that uh, Congress will move, will act on it. We certainly hope that Congress, that, that the entire American Jobs Act will be passed into law, I mean, it passed uh, uh, and then signed into law by the President. Now, as I've said in the past, if, uh, if portions of it are sent to him uh, that uh, come directly from the American Jobs Act, if it's paid for in a way uh, that uh, it is modeled after the principles the, the President has said he insists upon, then he would sign those and then he would say, send me the rest of it, because all of it is important. And we're at a moment in our, where our economy needs this kind of action. Uh, so who's sponsoring it, the legislative minutia of this, the details of this uh, are, uh, are not, I think, particularly uh, important. Uh, the broader principle here is and the need to pass it is. And I think the American people are not particularly concerned about which congressmen or congresswomen are signed up to it, uh, but uh, when Washington is going to take action to help the economy and create jobs. Senator Durbin is not just any rank and file senator. He's mm -hmm. the number two in sure. the Senate. He's a close ally of the president. When he says the president doesn't have the votes for the jobs bill right now, is the president going to stop saying pass the bill <coughs> now since even his fellow Democrats are saying they can't pass it now? Well, I'm not sure that's quite what he said. And again, the vote is not tomorrow or today. And, and he said, quote, not at the moment. I don't think we do, but uh, we can work on it. Right. Right, and, and we're working on it, and we're going to get it. And I'm not sure, again, uh, you know, we, we face some certain realities, as I'm sure you understand, in the United States Senate, which is that uh, you can't uh, name a post office without 60 votes these days, the, the way that the filibuster is used. And uh, that was a, meant to be an exaggeration. But practically and principally, you know, so the reality is uh, even if every Democratic senator supported it, that we, we face those obstacles, we have made the point, and the President has made the point, that these are provisions that have historically garnered Republican support as well. Uh, and we are making the case, uh, both here in Washington and around the country, for why uh, that support should be there this time. 